circuit court judge ruled Illinois' FOID card is unconstitutional. Now, the state Supreme Court could take up that question. Capitol Bureau Chief Mark Maxwell is live in Springfield. Mark, lawmakers were already pushing to make changes to this FOID card law. Paul, the Pritzker administration is wants to encourage gun owners to give their fingerprints to the state. There are Senate Democrats who want to require FOID card owners to uh, hand over their fingerprints and also double the cost of that FOID card. But now with a judge saying that card itself is unconstitutional, that could prompt lawmakers to start uh, considering new changes. State law requires Illinois citizens to pay $10 and take a photo to own or possess a gun. A Second Circuit court ruling says the FOID card goes too far and makes criminals out of law-abiding citizens who keep guns within their own home. There's certainly a Second Amendment opinion that we shouldn't need a car to own a gun. House Democrat Mike Zaleski says the judge's ruling could send lawmakers back to the drawing board. We did conceal carry 2014, I think, but it was as a result of a judge's opinion. This may have the same effect. Court ruling protected the right of self-defense in your home, but would not apply to a concealed carry license. My personal opinion is it's always made sense to unify the license. One in three concealed carry license holders gave Illinois their fingerprints in exchange for faster renewals. Our number one responsibility, in my opinion, here is to improve the safety of our residents. Senate Democrat Ron Villavalam says the concealed carry fingerprinting process flagged with a 2019 mass shooter in Aurora for a crime in another state and very nearly helped state police prevent that tragedy. The Illinois State Police law enforcement has clearly stated that uh, having fingerprints, you know, having universal background checks, having a FOID card system is what helps reduce gun violence in our state. Conservatives cheered the judge's opinion. I'm, I'm happy about the court's ruling. Sign, if they don't have the votes to block regulations in the state house, judges could roll them back from the bench. I hope that the to uphold the fact that FOID is unconstitutional uh, and totally wipe out the FOID card. The Illinois State Rifle Association said if the state Supreme Court does not uphold this uh, court's lower this lower court's ruling, rather they could appeal it all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. This case challenging the cost and constitutionality of the FOID card itself. Other lawsuits that are following behind it challenge the bureaucratic burden that's adding to this delay for people to renew the FOID cards they already have. That case still pending. Reporting in Springfield, Mark Maxwell, WCI3, your local news leader. Sounds like the final word has yet to come. Mark, I know you'll keep us updated. Thanks.